Hey hey and welcome back! Lately I've been doing a lot of platforming related tutorials so I thought I should mix things up and do something else today. So this time we will be doing something quite simple. I will show you how to use the vector3.angle. Okay, so I have already gone ahead and started a new project to showcase the angle. I have created three dots. This will be the origin. This will be position where we are defining the angle as zero, the direction, and this is what we will be moving around to measure the angle. The first thing we need to do when working with angles, we need to uh, define a zero angle. So which one, which direction should be the zero? In this case, I have chosen the right direction. So the direction between the blue ball and the red ball this is also usually the direction you learn in school when using the unit circle or anything. So I've gone with this. So what we have at the moment is the origin and the line to show that this is the zero direction. And then a line to the yellow ball which we can drag around. And then here up here in the UI I will show you the angle between this green line and this green line with this angle. I'm moving around the ball using the draggable. I've made a tutorial on how to use how to drag things so you can check that out if you want to learn that. In the same tutorials I also teach you how to do the lines in between these. So what we need to do now is to attach a script to the origin to determine the angle between these two. Let's start by creating the script. You can call it uh, show angle or calculate angle. Calculate angle. Let's attach it to the origin yeah, and go into the script. You can start by removing everything here. And what we need first is a reference to our yellow ball because that will be we need its position to be able to determine the angle so let's go into the script create a serialized field private transform and we call it target okay we also need the reference to the text ui text uh, that we had up here to be able to show the angle. So, serialize field, private text. You need to add the UI dictionary, Unity Engine dot UI, and then angle text. Let's start by assigning them. So, Go back inside Unity, go to the script and attach end, which is the yellow ball, to the target. And then the angle text inside canvas to this. Okay, let's go back inside the script. Now let's create a variable to hold our angle private float angle this is what we will be setting and showing we can default it to zero we also need a vector to uh, direction this is the direction vector to our target let's create uh, an update method so the first thing we need to do is determine that uh, determining the direction so direction is equal to our target dot trans dot position minus our own transition uh, position transform dot position so this becomes the uh, direct the direction becomes the vector in between the blue ball and the yellow ball no matter where the yellow ball is okay now we can go ahead and calculate angle. Angle equal to 
vector2.angle. There is an angle in vector3 as well, and it works just the same in the 3D space. We only need angle, the one for 2D at the moment. So we need a film vector and a two vector for this angle to work. And the film vector is the vector that we defined to be the zero uh, angle. So the, it's the angle between the blue or the direction between the blue and the yellow, uh, red ball. And this, since the red ball is static, we can just define it as vector two dot right. And then in the second place, the two we can put in our direction here. And then to show the angle, we can also set angle text dot text equal to angle dot two string. Okay, let's see if this works. Go inside. And you can see that we are at the moment at angle 90, which is correct. From this to this is a 90 degree angle. And if we switch the position for the yellow ball, you can see that as close as it gets to the red ball, the closer it gets to zero angle. And then if we get as far as it as far away from it as possible, we get at 180. And what happens if we get on the other side? Let's try it. So here we come to zero, but then it increases again. What I was expecting when I used angle for the first time was that when we pass the 180 degree mark, we should go up towards the 360 when we get back to the red ball from below. But this isn't how angle works. It doesn't really care what side of the origin your um, target is. It goes up to 108 and then it starts over, no matter which side you are on. And this isn't the um, behavior I wanted, so I made something to determine, to recalculate this into 360 when we are here. So I will show you how to do that. You can first start by determining what side of the origin we are at. So go back to the script and introduce a new variable and call it private float sign and we equal it to default it to one. And then we can calculate sign doing a ternary operation equal to target direction. We need the direction to the target and we need the y and if this is larger than or equal to zero which means if our yellow ball is above the origin we will set an sign into one if it is below our origin we set it to minus one and then we take our angle and multiply it by sign what we get now is at least a determination of which side of the origin we are at. So on the upper side, there is no difference, but as we go below the red ball, we get a minus sign before angle. Now we know if it's a negative si uh, angle or a positive angle. Let's add another variable, private offset uh, float offset and default it to zero then another ternary expression offset equals to if sign is greater than or equal to zero so if you are above the origin the offset is zero add a parenthesis for Better visual, 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 visuality. And if the sign is below one, if below zero, meaning we are below the blue ball, the origin, then we set it to 360. And then we can take our angle and add the offset to it. Let's go back into Unity and see if we get the expected behavior now. So it's still no difference, 
on the positive side. And then if we pass the 180 mark, you can see that now it goes all the way up to 360 degrees, as I as at least I was expecting it to do from the beginning. And then it starts over again. So it wasn't any more than that. This today's tutorial was really simple and quite short, and I hope you enjoyed it and find it useful. Bye bye.